Join us as we uncover the post hoc ergo propter hoc fallacy in the Big Bang Theory. First, what exactly is this fallacy? Definition, claiming that because event Y followed event X, event Y must have been caused by event X without properly establishing causality. This fallacy suggests that because one event follows another, the first must be the cause of the second. Let's take a look at this scene from season three, episode one. Oh, hi, mom. No, I told you I'd call you when I got home. I'm not home yet. All right, I'm home. The Arctic expedition was a remarkable success. I'm all but certain there's a Nobel Prize in my future. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I'm entirely certain. No, Mother, I could not feel your church group praying for my safety. <laughs> the fact that I'm home safe does not prove that it worked. That logic is post hoc ergo propter hoc. <laughs> no, I'm not sassing you in Eskimo talk. In this scene, Mary Cooper believes her prayers were the reason Sheldon safely returned from the Arctic. This logic is flawed because it confuses sequence with causation akin to linking water consumption with cancer because both are common in cancer patients. To counter this fallacy, highlight the need for actual evidence of causation rather than mere correlation. Point out other factors that could have ensured Sheldon's safe return, emphasizing the logical gap between prayer and safety outcomes. Did you spot any other logical fallacies in the clip? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.